Okay, third time is the charm. Hopefully this one works. Now I'll be reviewing a Bauta Lab by Templar for the Team Liquid Map Contest 9. This one, uh, actually, unlike like many, what many people will think, uh, got past the first cut of the Team Liquid Map Contest. Mostly because it is an... At least I personally consider it to be an interesting map the ideas of it, even when the even when the execution of it, it is not the best, but the core of it, it is like very interesting, especially for like Legacy of the Void and such. I really find the the third bases in the map itself to be like quite cool with the debris and such. But at the same time, as I said, it suffers from execution issues because even when the third bases are like kind of interesting, they have this this low ground low ground right right beside them, which basically deny any use of the base because of harassment of that could happen because even stalkers can can basically reach the mineral line, and that is that is clearly a problem uh, for a more balanced. Uh, set up such as ladder but at, at its core the map I do consider it to be like very very cool hopefully this works there we go switching into the editor now so okay at the start it is clear that there is like execution issues because those are like pretty clear but the core layout of the map, as I said, it is like very interesting because you have your third base that even when it is uh, in, a, in a forward position, if you go and remove this area, which is the, the low ground like right beside it, then the third base becomes like pretty, it becomes more interesting, especially if, like if you go and rotate it, something like this. Then you can add something around this area in order to avoid tank volleys towards the town hall. Or you can take the entire base and move it out more towards the main base because you still have the space. So you are, the whole idea will be basically to remove the, the low ground area. Remove this area. And then you have a, like a cooler a cooler forward third base which can be held but at the same time you also end up with this um, huge amount of empty space with there you can take the ideas for example from dust dusk towers and set up an island base in there and over there you're basically fixing the you're using you're actually using the the white space the non-use area Another issue of the map itself is that the third base, as an alternative to this another one, is a bit too far away. And that can cause issues, especially like in certain matchups over time. If you don't have an alternative third when you are trying a new idea, it is kind of more tricky to make your new idea work because you're not giving the players an alternative, an stable alternative to take. So going forward more, you will see clearly that, for example, the map is divided into two sections because of the center of the map itself, it is a tight neck in it. It is basically a single very wide choke point. In order to fix this, I actually made some small adjustment to the map, which you will see clearly here. By making this, you are basically changing the center of the map into something like more foxtrot isk, something like that. But it will help, it will work more towards like making the map more... Uh, the center specifically, more of a one, one pathway towards the center in order to attack your enemy. This is like just an example, you can like add some loss blockers or split this up even more. To work with low ground and make a make it in more into a checkerboard uh, pattern with the high grounds and such kind of Ganymede or that or that map that that negative zero made the, the one that reached ladder. 
but yeah, the biggest problems in this map are not per se the ideas of it, which I find like very interesting, because of this forward third, I find it very cool, but execution more than anything else. Even here, th these are like some very small, uh, I'm not sure, like five minute changes to it. Like I made this area a low ground in order to, for example, if a player loses the his third, he won't need to, he won't be able basically losing the game instantly. But other than that, I don't have much to say because at its core, the map is like well thought out, or at least the, the, the final shape of the map is like interesting. But things, for example, the distance between the natural to the third, it is a bit farther than I would ideally like for a legacy of the void for a legacy of the void map. Same from the third to the fourth. And maybe if these changes, if Templar decides to make some changes, something like this, uh, this space might need to be moved a bit. The the ideal low grounds around bases kind of like this or kind of like that I uh, engines of war that map that reads the the total biscuit uh, showcraft showcraft uh, clan wars uh, tournament this kind of low grounds I personally don't really see them ever being used at least much or at least in a very like, kind of interesting form. They are like very cool for map making, so they are like kind of on a, an, attractive, an attractive shape to use. But gameplay wise, I don't see them as particularly useful. So maybe changing this entire area into something more utilitarian for the map and try to, for example, fix the flow from the towards the third in order to somehow make the, the player at the bottom be able to explain the counterclockwise instead of just clockwise. But yeah, those are, are overall my ideas. The thing, for example, is also that this third, even when it is like far away, I think it will still benefit from having like a tighter shock point around this area. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say. The map itself, as I have repeated myself many times, it is, I find it to be like quite interesting. But it has some very clear execution problems, which if Templar decides to continue working on them, I think that this map will be like very, very solid. At least, the, at least at its core. The center, of course, I'm not entirely sold out.